Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. DVI, HDMI, VGA. So they're all three great for hooking up your monitor to your computer. Uh, VGA is obviously the old one, as it were. Yeah, why is it even still around? Well, so VGA is actually superior in some ways because over an old VGA cable... But isn't it analog? It's analog. But I used to be able to push 2400 by whatever the equivalent resolution is. Right. Yeah, 1440 or something like that. Over a VGA cable at 200 hertz. Wow. You can't do that over the digital HDMI. Why? Because this is analog and this is digital. But isn't digital always better? Digital means less noise and a purer representation of what the out was. So if you say this bit is going to be this color, you are for sure going to have this bit be that color. With analog, you may not get that. You can have noise in the signal. And if you have a bad VGA cable or a long VGA cable, you, you remember yeah, the yeah, wobble yeah, yeah, or the wiggles oh, or the well. or the, the pinks don't quite line up, yeah. so the, the lines are a little off. So it does matter. Then HDMI has audio, and VGA didn't have audio. But an interesting thing about them is that when DVI came out, DVI was before HDMI. DVI had backwards compatibility with VGA. Yeah, you get an adapter. Right. And there are DVI, there are two types of DVI, DVI A and DVI D. And this is a DVI D. I don't know whether J yeah, is C to see on it. there, Isn't it but all about the bars. Or? There there's this metal bar in here, and if it's a A cable, there will be four little pins around that metal bar. This one doesn't like have it, line. so this is a DVI-D only. Okay. But a DVI-A will pass VGA over it. So you could plug in an adapter, and this is not the adapter, but you could go VGA to DVI. Okay. Which Wait, is... Hang on. Would this be a dual-link DVI, then, since it's a DVI-D? No, D was for digital, uh, not dual-link. Okay, and then the A would be analog. analog. Got yes. It. Now, if you have a DVI-A cable with an HDMI adapter, you can actually pass VGA over HDMI to your display. So there are VGA to HDMI adapters? The, there are combinations of cables that would get you there, <laughs> and it would all work. That's not the preferred way of doing it. Usually you're going to go with one of these and you're going to use the D and you're going to go DVI to HDMI. But it just seems like even today I see plenty of notebook computers and uh, projectors that still use VGA. Not, not, not DisplayPort, not DVI, not even HDMI. That's probably because so many people have business conference rooms with old projectors. If you've got an old projector, it's probably VGA, not HDMI, right. and imagine, you know, this is a big port to put on the side of sure. a MacBook Air. Yeah, but this is a small port. Well, and yeah, and this one, you've actually got an HDI Mini. Right. Which is even smaller. Right. And it's a great form factor with the exception of it falls out still, which is the reason that everyone's starting to move to DisplayPort, which is better than HDMI in most regards and is a locking mechanism. So you can't just pull it out; it it catches. Oh, so that's is that pretty much what Apple is standardizing on App their version of DisplayPort, <laughs> or is this uh, a completely different video? Uh, <laughs> we would probably do that as a separate video, but yes, HDMI is not DisplayPort. There are DisplayPort to HDMI adapters as well, and Apple's DisplayPort is not quite the same as everybody else's DisplayPort. 